All right, Pat Vellner here. We're a couple weeks out from the games, and we're putting on some final touches for this year's CrossFit Games. So follow along while we get into the last uh, pieces to make sure that we're good to go when we get to Madison. Scaring all the locals with your shirt off? It's gonna be a war zone in there. Why? People? Yeah, and just a lot of nice couples out for a leisurely walk, hand holding across the whole trail. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like <laughs> red rovering them. Oh, that's a good reference. But uh, yeah, it'll be fine. I think the GPS is struggling in there. <clears throat> oh, yeah? Oh, because there are trees in there? I think I ran farther than it said. So it's fine. I'll run farther than it's written. That's all right. I'm just gonna blame my GPS every time I run. It's just, you know, island life. Got some, uh, not the best 5G going on around here. So we're doing the old uh, run, swim, run from 2017. As well as we can replicate it, I guess. Less rain. True, yeah. Nicer day. Probably less accurate, well, I don't know about less accurate markers. I don't know how accurate they were back then, but. Less E. coli. Less E. coli, that's for sure. Probably a little better swimmer. More people on the trail. Hurdle some bystanders, it'll be a good time. But yeah, should be fun, we'll get it done, and then that's all there is for session one, really, and then some beach entries, but. Um, you know, doing some beach stuff still. I'm not 100% convinced we'll be in the pool again this year. So, trying to be prepared. How's that? I don't know. <laughs> That's hard. That's good enough. I think it was fine. It gave me about the same distance, both laps at least. Yeah. So, you know, precise at least. Um, I don't know. This one was hard. I tried not to be like, so that I could run really decently hard for both. I think my runs were consistent, one and two, so whatever. <laughs> it's good enough. But yeah, still a hard workout. I know, I remember it being, you know, there was a bit of shallow entry here, which is okay, because I think when we did it that year, where they dredged out was deep, so if you stayed in the lane, you would have to swim. Uh -oh. But if you strayed to the outsides, you could touch your feet. I remember hearing afterwards some guys were like, yeah, I can kind of shallow water dive for like half the distance. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. That'd be nice to know. But it feels good. Nice to do some beach entry and who knows. Maybe we don't even do lake stuff. But it's a nice day. Good to practice. Getting so ready? the heavy weights move today. Snatching first? Yeah. Good, good little general barbell warm up and then we'll just get rolling. Lats are a little tight for the swim. Are these lifter type workouts or these shoes type oh, workouts? Little trainers today. Let's see how it goes. I feel like honestly, most of this like season I'll do my lifting if it's just lifting and lifters. But this has got some other stuff. And then with how we had to do the semis, I just obviously did all my training for that with trainers on, so I could snatch after the run, and uh, it went fine. And I hit like 100% of my snatch, so I feel like I'm. It's good for the confidence, I guess. I'm happy to just lift in my trainers.
here's where I go. If I go no belt here, those last two will feel really nice. So that's what I'm going to try to do. What's this weight? 285. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Legs are... It's just like the catch in the bottom and, and like the power, the initial drive and the clean. The jerk feels fine, the clean just feels a bit like, blah. Like not snappy. I think that gives the point. Hand over hand sled pulls and snatch pulls. 95% snatch pulls and then like, it's supposed to be, not hand over hand, like like the semi-finals. Yeah. So like heavy kind of hip pulls. Um, so just trying to figure out what weight to throw on the sled here. And then we'll get going. Lots of pulling today. Lots of pulling today. That looks like fun. The sled's not actually that bad. Only having to do one length. Not so bad. And you gotta do nine, it starts to suck a lot. Change the shoes? Uh, I'm gonna put different knee sleeves on. Just for the next workout. I'm trying to use my rest efficiently. The workout's gonna be hard. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's gonna be gross. Looking at it, the closer I get to it and you start seeing how you're feeling. How's the energy level after the first bunch of stuff today? Uh, feeling not as bad after the clean and jerks because they went okay. I'm tired. Even yeah. those like those long workouts in the first session take a bit of juice out of you. So I feel like doing that and then a bunch of power output was hard. Is hard. And then this workout I think is going to be back end heavy, so I think you gotta kinda pace it a little bit. So we'll see. I think it's just gonna be hard on the arms and stuff like that. Arms and shoulders have been taking a bit of beating, so. I think it's just gonna be, it's gonna be a good grind on that one. And then I'm, ba I'm basically done. After this, slight stuff, I'm almost done. The workout will go pretty quick, and then it's like one accessory after that. Clean up, easy. Of the games, would you do something different for recovery between, or would pretty between sessions or like yeah. between workouts? Sessions, sessions more. Yeah, well, I mean, we only were like 45 minutes or something like that between this morning, which makes a difference for sure. I think the games is usually two ish hours. Ideally, I would try to spend like a couple hours, eat, have a couple hours in training sessions, sessions between, but it just depends on the day. Sometimes I have to do stuff. Life still keeps moving, so if I have appointments or things or I gotta pick up the baby or do whatever, I try to make sure I'm hustling and I'm not leaving anybody hanging. So, it just depends. Sometimes it doesn't work out perfectly. But the good news is, it makes you more prepared for when things are, you know, a gong show at the games or when schedules change or, you know, or you don't have that. I'd rather be trained to not have that long gap and then have it, yeah. than, you know, need to be prepared for something short and have never done it. So, I know, stress test. I like to train in less than ideal situations, and then it makes me ready for when things are tough at the games. Well, when this guy walks in with Fraser's shoe on, you just go and kick it? <laughs> go just throw him out the window? Yeah. Just go it's stuff fine. him up? It's fine, you know, it's hard to get mine. I think they're sold out, so. Those are the ugly Matt Fraser shoes, though. Oh, no. Still good. This is the real recovery between events. <laughs> I need a little boost before I do all these stuff. A little gas back in the tank. 
You got a shirt on now. Yeah, I don't want to. Uh, I just get a bunch of big black spots on my shoulders when I'm doing dumbbell thrusters. If I don't wear a shirt, so I'd rather just put the spots on the shirt. I mean, maybe they're a little slippery. I don't know, but mostly I just don't want to get really dirty. <laughs> so this is one where I think your strategy of like hit it as hard as possible versus games pace are two different things. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is like. There's a lot of shoulder fatigue, a lot of pull fatigue. And it's just at the end there with the 70 pound dumbbells and the ring muscle ups, you can transition really slow there. <laughs> so I feel like pacing the first half of the workout, even though that section, the movements are easier and a little faster, you can save yourself a lot of time on the back end. So not being just like, put your head down aggressive. Oh. You know, I might have the ability to do it all unbroken, but with the other stuff today, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking I might take a little bit of an easy on-ramp in and then the first two rounds try to feel really smooth. And then from there, you start to pick it up. Once you get done the light dumbbells, I think you got to try to be hustling from there. And you yeah. can save lots of time. Like, I just think the first half is kind of a trap almost. So this is more game strategy as opposed to just, like, bury it and see what you can hang on to? Yeah, I think so. Which, I don't know though, I mean, maybe people can just hang on to those last ones when it's short reps, but I think you can be standing around, you can get caught standing around a lot uh, if you go too fast, so, I don't know, I'm going to feel it out. When I finish, I'll see how tired I feel, <laughs> but my guess is I'll feel really tired, and uh, that'll be that, so, whatever, we'll give it a crack. I think smooth, I think smooth on the first four rounds and then try to attack from there. That's the, that's the game plan. It was always me versus me, it was never me versus you Misunderstood, get up, had to beat those eyes Got up and I beat those eyes, it's understood It was always me versus me, it was never me versus you And now I'm good, wake up and I do my part Wake up and I do my job, just how I should It was always me versus me, it was never me versus you Misunderstood, get up, had to beat those eyes Got up and I beat those eyes, it's understood It was always me versus me, it was never me versus you And now I'm good Wake up and I do my part, wake up and I do my job Just how I should I feel it all, I'm feeling numb I lost my soul All right, that's a wrap on today. Uh, you know, some ups and downs, some yips on the barbell there, but uh, that's games training for you. So lots of ups and downs. Some days you feel great, some days you feel like trash, and you hope you can put it all together when the time comes. So just a few more weeks away to polish things up. It'll be good when we get on the floor. That's what I like to think anyways. So thanks for joining us. Like and subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll bring you guys some more training soon.